Hey folks, welcome back. It's time for another cheap and cheerful recommendation. So last time I showed you the YJ Star Barrel, which is a really nice puzzle from, obviously, YJ. Uh, this time we're going in a different direction. This is a cheap and cheerful, but also quite simple puzzle. Um, but as I'll explain, I think it's good not just for beginner solvers, but for experienced solvers too. It's got some really nice properties to it. Um, this is the six spot cube made by Chi. You can see their logo here. And it was designed by David Pitcher, whose signature you can see here. David Pitcher is a really talented puzzle designer. Uh, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description. I highly recommend checking it out. He's made some amazing varieties of puzzles, particularly his uh, crazy shape-shifting and jumbling puzzles are really a sight to see. Um, a few of them have been mass-produced, so not just the six-spot cube, but what I'm particularly interested in is the Four Corners cube, uh, which I hope to get in the not-too-distant future. Um, that one is very much harder than this one, though. Um, so if you're familiar with twisty puzzles in general, you probably have heard of or have seen or even own the Ivy Cube. And this puzzle is a transformation of the Ivy Cube. So um, just like the Ivy Cube, it has one big centerpiece on each of the six faces, and it is a corner turner. So when I turn a corner, which has three possible positions, I bring three of the centers along with it, as you can see here. Um, and I like the way that David has reshaped those centers into these uh, perfect circles. It gives the cube a really clean, minimalistic look. Um, the size is, is identical to a normal 3x3, three three, basically. Um, so the centers are really big and chunky and satisfying to turn. Um, and uh, when you show this to somebody who hasn't seen it before or maybe isn't familiar with twisty puzzles, they will often comment that they don't really understand how it actually will turn. And they're quite surprised to find that it is turning uh, in a corner twisting way like this. So it's entertaining visually. Um, it also has this nice clicky mechanism, which you can hear. I don't know, I'm assuming that must be ball bearings or something. Um, I haven't opened it up to, to check, but it feels good to turn. Um, and it pretty much snaps nicely into place when you do turn a corner. Um, so tactically, it's it's really pleasant. Um, this is the stickerless variant. There's also a stickered version as well. Um, the sticker, stickerless plastic is really nice. Uh, it feels really solid, really well built. Um, as you can see, the shades are really vibrant, as is typical of GE. So all the colors really stand out. Um, it's just a really, really well-made puzzle. Uh, even though it, I think it cost me five pounds ninety nine from Cubes UK, so very very affordable, cheaper than your typical budget three by three. So, um, and I'll do a quick scramble here so you can see what it looks like scrambled. Um, it's actually <laughs> getting a, a proper scramble can be a bit difficult on this cube because there's really just not that many positions for things to be in. So you often end up kind of unscrambling it when you're trying to scramble it. Um, but we'll, we'll just give it a go here so I can get a nice looking visual for you. So there you go. And you can see um, it really looks nice when it's scrambled. You know, these giant geometrical shapes uh, in very highly contrasting colors. It really looks great. Um, and I've found already, having shown this to a couple of people who are not twisty puzzlers, that it's a great intro for them. Because once you show them how it turns um, and you, you make a suggestion, you know, maybe you'll say, okay start by you know bringing the outside skeleton of each face back into position and they'll go okay and they'll start playing with the corners and they'll they'll see that they can quickly bring all those colors back together and that's satisfying and it's not it doesn't take too long it's not frustrating and then uh, you can start to explain to them how you can discover basic sequences on a puzzle you know how you can bring a piece up to where it needs to be and then bump it out of the way and bring the outside frame back and then bring the new piece back in and blammo you know you're, you're on your way and then they'll continue from there and and start solving the puzzle and uh it's much less of a sort of delayed gratification than uh trying to teach somebody how to solve the three by three which is a really quite involved process i mean the three by three is easy for you for us now but when you're first learning it's quite a lot to take in um but this puzzle, you can really get a grasp of it in a few minutes, even as a newbie. Um, and because it's so solidly built uh, and really looks nice, I think it's a great choice for you know, introducing to kids, particularly young kids who 
you know you think might be interested in, in puzzles but uh, you know you don't want to get them something that's going to fall into a billion pieces or would frustrate them this would be a great choice for that so I think it's an excellent gateway puzzle um, and for experts too I mean not every puzzle needs to be the ultimate challenge of all time sometimes you just need to pick up a puzzle solve it quickly and enjoy the feel of it and just relax into it a little bit and this puzzle I find gets into my hands a lot for that exact reason um, so I, I really highly recommend it I think uh, I'm really glad I bought it it's always sitting next to me uh, on the coffee table and I pick it up quite a bit and just do what I just did now so you know when I'm thinking uh, you know what's writing an email or if I'm talking to my wife or, or just chilling I'll just pick it up and just absent-mindedly solve it without really thinking about it and it just feels good it's a it's a really nice addition to the collection um, so that's the six spot cube um, once again made by Chi and designed by David Pitcher definitely uh, firmly in the cheap but cheerful category but a really high quality puzzle looks great and feels great so definitely recommend it uh, if you don't have one already so I hope you enjoyed that little look at this puzzle. Uh, I'll be back soon with some more cheap and cheerful recommendations, as well as my more usual uh, over-the-top puzzle coverage. Uh, in the meantime, of course, stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in the next video.